year. Welcome to another episode of Molson Michigan Beer Review. I am your host, James, and let's check and see what's under the white MMBR bag. Today we have St. Jim's Imperial Whiskey Stout 2014 Vintage by Fenton Wine and Brewery. <coughs> it's a very special beer. You cannot buy this in stores. You will never see it in stores. You have to go to their winery slash brewery to buy it. And if there's any left, I don't know. So it's a very special beer. And um, let's take a look real quick and see where Fenton Winery and Brewery is located. Alright, that is where Fenton Winery and Brewery is located, otherwise known as FWB. And let's take a closer look at the bottle art. Alright, here we have it. Fenton Winery and Brewery at the B St. Gin's Imperial Whiskey Stout. Limited vintage, vintage 2014. And this says, part of our high gravity series, this is, a, this is a distinctive brew with loads of roast and malt character. A smooth flavor is provided by French oak aged with Irish whiskey. And there's our address. And it's 12% ABV and 75 IBU. And what else do we have here? This says that it is brewed and hand bottled by Fenton. So that's awesome. Nothing else on there. It's regular orange cap to match. And that is it. Alright, that was the bottle art. Uh, not too unique, but very cool that it is pretty much one-of-a-kind beer that you can't buy in stores again, so I like it, and I like that they actually made a nice label for it. Um, it's released in the springtime, um, so there's going to be a 2015 vintage coming out next year, I believe, even though it's 2015 right now. And um, here is a description from their website. A bold imperial Irish stout with loads of malt character and roastiness. The distinct toasted whiskey finish leaves you wanting more. Well, I'm going to find out if I want more. So, without further ado, let's crack it. Let's pour it. Alright. Barely any head on there at all, but it is a tannish color. The beer itself is a dark brown, close to black. I'm smelling hints of cocoa nibs and vanilla, a little bit of oak, a little bit of whiskey oak, and some malts. So let's try it. Alright, that's uh, actually pretty good. Wow. It's got a medium mouthfeel. Close to thick. Not thin at all. I like that. Um, it is more oaky and lightly boozy than it is sweet. Let me try again. Yeah. So it has a little bit of bite there. A little bit of bite compared to a regular imperial oak aged or wood aged stout. Um, there is some lingering dark chocolate in there. Some slight vanilla. But it's mostly... Uh, like a oaky, chocolatey bite. But I kind of like it. <clears throat> it's very nice. Also in the aftertaste, it's a little malty. <clears throat> a little malty, um, like oatmeal flavors in there. A little roasty. I'm tasting that roastiness now. Gives a great mouthfeel. Um, yeah, overall, I think it's a great beer. And um, 
I've actually been to Fenton Winery and Brewery, obviously, because I had to buy the bottle there. It was an awesome place. Uh, we went there July 3rd. There was nobody there, obviously, because it's July 4th weekend. Um, so we were pretty much the only people there. We got to talk to the owner. One of the owners, she's awesome. She was personable, really cool. Um, our bartender was really cool, too. Um, he took care with all the glasses and made sure everything was clean, everything was poured great, um, nothing was over foamy. We just got the perfect pours because we did uh, flights. And um, the whole premises is beautiful too. Uh, there's a, like about 1.2 acres, I believe, of land. You can walk around, there's like a little beer garden, uh, a couple gardens there with like fresh basil growing and other flowers. Um, it was just a beautiful time. I enjoyed myself there and I enjoyed their beers and um, you should go check them out if you can, if you're close by, or if you're in town, check them out. So I'm going to have another sip and then I'm going to rate this. Mm. A little bit of whiskey bite, a little bit of chocolatey, lots of good. I'm going to give St. Jin's Imperial Whiskey Stout 2014 Vintage a 4 out of 5. I really like that um, like bite, that whiskey, chocolatey bite at the end. and um, It's just really good. So if you can find it, go get it. Go to their brewery, go find it if they sell bottles. Until next time, cheers!